Uh, let's go on the line and speak to Professor Thaddeus P. Uh, Olsen. Uh, Ol Professor Thaddeus Olsen was educated at, uh, my memory brief history be, at St. Augustine's College, Cape Coast, uh, Kabulonga. School for Boys, Lusaka, Zambia, China, uh, Ghana Secondary Technical School. Takradi, he graduated from the University of Ghana Medical School in 1978 at the age of 22 and was the youngest physician in Ghana at the time. He completed his postgraduate education in psychiatry at the University of Toronto before. He has had a career as an academic physician for over 40 years. He is the past dean and former associate dean for academic affairs of the College of uh, community health science. Of course, a man of many parts and apparently was domiciled in the United States and now in Ghana. Want to see how best they can help to, as it were, bring food on the table for ordinary gain and across the political economic divide. Prof, Yemu Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Prof, what are you saying? Wonderful. Now, uh, is Quite a number of comments coming in. It's like, hey, na part we almost so free, no more bad And what? Yes, na a B B C S S R party. What is it that you are bringing on the table as far as Ghanaian politics <laughs> are concerned? Mama, a brief history by you. But where is this party coming from? Well, part you know, um, it's coming from Ghanaians <clears throat> within Ghana, Ghanaians globally who have been concerned about the direction of the country for the last 10 years. We've been working together, and we came to the conclusion that we would have to form a party that is well organized, well disposed to helping Ghanaians understand where we have brought ourselves. That is, who the people we have chosen to lead us in the last 32 years. You know, they have driven the country into a big, big hole. And we're going to have to dig ourselves out of it. Wow. Now, uh, Mamenu won't call some of my proposals, Amodia, but call it the blueprints, which, of course, if today the, the party is in government, Mobed and Mobetimi are implemented as far as the Progressive Alliance of Ghana is concerned. Now, your proposal says uh, yes, the party proposes no, no more than 14 ministries of government, which are listed below. And I'm near the idea. What makes you think there, on my way, with the 16 regional capitals, but 14 ministries, what makes you think so? Give us a breakdown. Well, we know that right now, right now as we speak, mm -hmm. somebody has tried to do the job with 120 ministers. Mm -hmm. It's not really about numbers. It is about function. What are the functions of government mm -hmm. and how best can we marshal our resources to provide those functions in an efficient a manner as possible? In the number of ministers, we are one aspect. The other aspect, Mr. the size of government in Ghana relative to population. I'm a parasite. parasite. I'm a epidemic. The government is a parasite on the people. Mm. And the, oh, because we know that they are, this is shocking, eh? The government yes. is a parasite to the people. Is that what you say? On the people. Wow. The, because their resources, you know, it feed government, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it feed development programs, mm -hmm. it feed any innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, they make a lot of noise about uh, never be brave, but. We have, let me say, as you saw, no, we go to Africa or East Africa. Time I'm going to East Africa, no, not say the East Africa ni who done any of the original. In those days, so here as I can't see now, pay me. That is how bad it is on the continental scale. Yeah. Now, and it's not just a. Hmm. It be because we're about fast sixty ministers. It be see about fast fifty. Let me add the addendum. If we look at what has been said earlier, now even 40 ministries, then it means that it's about saving the consolidated fund from wasting. Now, there's even a report that suggests every year, the quantum of money that go waste across our ministerial sector and a prof, so if you look at all of this, 
Are you therefore suggesting that this will help us even reduce the financial burden and perhaps how then do you curtail the waste as well? Yeah, I think one of the sources of waste is the size of government. One of the biggest sources of waste is the size of government. I see. So, we are not, we are underutilizing technology. Mm -hmm. The government is not efficient. Mm -hmm. We have too many people and, and it is top heavy. So I'm not talking about people who provide services at the local government level mm -hmm. who are on the front lines of dealing with the population. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the superstructure I always see on top of Abayano, all these ministers, deputy ministers, who now your friend was saying, um, patronage jobs to reward people who have been politically important to the party. They, they are not functional. Um, we have, we have in the past, we had a very professional civil service. Yeah. And for a very specialized mm -hmm. civil service in the departments and ministries that they work. Mm -hmm. they, they know more than any political appointee. Exactly. So they are the experts. They are the people driving who should drive and implement policy. Mm. They are politicizing the DRMT. Do I not mean you do see me to DRMT? Then you suddenly become an expert? No. Hey. No. No, bro. I have yeah. very critical, and I, I entirely agree with you. And you see, when some of you speak like this, then, you know, the young folks, our hearts bleed in a sense, them. What you are saying is like a pure blueprint that must go on paper, that must form the umbilical cord of the nation's driving system. In the sense, is a minister now abano. There, one one is a big crowd now minister and some some school crowd or coin or specialize in something technical or sort of. Near the now kwa kwashi baby to say health that he has no knowledge of anything to do with health. Exactly. So anything that he implements, perhaps, is off the beat. How do we direct people to the appropriate designation of the system to be able to take care of it? Pro, speak to me. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have um, experts everywhere within the country, very experienced people whose opinions are sought around the world in many fields. And vice versa, there are many Ghanaians outside the country in many fields. Yet, we are not putting the right people in the right places. As they say, you know, they are not sitting in the right seat on the bus. Hmm. Yeah. Now, Prof, my main kind of intro, which is one of your a year modia but was that all deputy minister positions would be abolished. The mm -hmm. civil service would uh, would re will be re uh, friends, uh, will be reprofessionalized and depoliticized. Chief directors of ministries would effectively function as deputy ministers, which should be their professional role. The office of the head of, of the civil service, OHCS, would be better resourced to this end. Explain this to me. Why deputy ministers, you know, chief directors, looking at this from one angle, your perspective? Well, because, uh, as I said, my deputy ministers, my people, mm. they are just in that place, uh, fulfilling patronage, uh, um, you know, uh, functions. Mm -hmm. so, uh, they are old political figures in Timur and mm -hmm. But really, you know, also, you know, we have to think longitudinally. So, civil service, you know, it has to be, it has to maintain its professionalism, not for, just for today. But one about driver development for the next generation and the generation beyond. That's it, right. It, it has to be like a professional army. Mm -hmm. And yet, in then when I say more people say maybe three, four years, that's what civil service is about. Mm -hmm. It's about it's about building capacity. It's about improving knowledge. It's about you know knowing the most modern interventions for whatever your particular field is mm -hmm. and carrying that on from generation to generation it will be a now yeah assistant principal secretary by the time a principal secretary before no no major and chief directors no no we see a i expect at the top of that field mm -hmm. i see ah, and the bed driving development and yet politicians who are coming four years in four years out they are not driving development no it's the professional people wow yes i see we have to we have to split yeah. 
Prof, ye ka politics ya, mm, amanyo semia. Obibe obibe ka se uh, is all about food on the table. Now, mm -hmm. on a Greek food security. Uh me husa ma lesti bi bitu se se agronomy animal husbandry fisheries no me ade. Say e na mo betimi ama eduane aye in abundance a Ghana for yen kwasire nuane no me ade. It says here ka say when it comes to food deficit, no many idea, a eh, problem. Just say, she see car. Yes, sir. A few beer. Yes, the imported rice from many parts of the world. She the importation of poultry. She the importation of fish. Any of be brave yet. Me nara sebi. Me nimse prof we need fika crash. Just say, even in the days of kutu e champ on me nadi na Ghana. Yet to me, yet Ghana yet exporting food and fish to many parts of the world, including South Korea. No many idea. A brave yet can say, baby, a jina yet. Momo party said, Yakupombe, Bomomania, Queen Yabanum. A bassa food a Greek nominia dia. Mu blueprint in the Beko say. Well, first thing is, it's a disgrace, mm -hmm. your current situation. Yeah. It's a complete disgrace. It's a country, a war arable land from the coast all the way to the north. We import two onions and assets tomatoes. That's right. If you come to a desert, or oh, a desert, you only get to make those new onions. You can't write, 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 you as the basis for scientific development. That's right. Because agriculture is science. So, we have been developing species that have been survival of the environment, and in your matter. So, I mean, I don't know if you have a friend saying, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Now, a well funded. Into scientists need to move in breeding different species. Have a snowbear more bountiful, okay? Uh, can can you make na me in the same You know, into, it's a whole area, it's been totally neglected. And then, of course, we have the other problems related to it mm -hmm. bad roads, poor infrastructure. And if you have a farmer's new year, we have a snow cry. And so, the big group of people are not going to be able We have to look at the whole picture. Yeah, yeah, phases are you have to you and now getting young people turned mm -hmm. onto the science of farming, making sure says you see how you can say Ghana two thirds of Ghana at the urban areas and mm. one third at the rural areas. If the fewer people are now going to or more people, if it's our demographic in your mind now, nah, we have we have to look at them. And even in urban areas, you, know, you can get people to engage in green activities in urban areas, schools, and the community gardens. And you will be bring your way to me, yeah. But the abandoning vision for something like that, it will never happen. Yeah. It's about leadership. Wow. Yes. Now, on health, no, Apumudi Hunsem, no. I want to capture the vision to say, Allopathy, holistic, um, and a pharmacopoeia, infrastructure, sanitation. What? And on a dinner, more person more hammer. What is it that Ghanaians need to no, again? Again, health. You know, mm -hmm. Overall, the dia, um, basic inputs mm. are very important. Yeah, yeah, machinery you're using in hospitals. You know, they are small machines, exactly. There's no reason why many of these machines cannot be manufactured in Ghana. There's absolutely no reason why. There were universities of science and technology. There were secondary technical schools. There's no reason why these basic machines cannot be manufactured in this country. And then next, drugs. The import of drugs. Uh, the market you know, is infiltrated by fake medicines mm. from India and Adi. Mm. In your diabetes, now we fed drug, this all fed drug, now we should have that so possible. If again, we, we should be able to produce generic drugs within Ghana on a very large scale. Prophylactic.
drastic medications here, here for prevention of malaria now. There's no reason why I hint to me any time your mom will come. We are simply performing below our capacity. Hmm. Because we for our MDD here for the last 30 years, we haven't had a real full vision mm -hmm. of what can be done and what people need to live a full life in this country. Hey, hmm. Hupao. Now, Prof. Maminfa Umra Weiso, which I'm trying to make a sense of it, but explain that to me. Chesem, my state TBB is a key proposed sector ministries and some departments and agencies. Now, I'm trying to make a sense of it. Is it, is it all about ministries? And the more government suggestions, security, security and defense uh, service, no more car, intelligence, defense, interior, police, borders, fire, disaster management. What is the meaning of this? Well, security, you know, I, um, what we are suggesting is that uh, mm -hmm. there should be better integration okay. of uh, your security situation. Because, again, we are being very complacent. Mm -hmm. We are living in a very, um, in a very dangerous world. Yeah. Just around uh, agencies, you see, Boko Haram, Luman, uh, uh, sometimes prior infiltration can try them. Yeah. Uh, we have to wake up and be very alert because if you are here, they are one of your time power the other day. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, now, my main move one step ahead on something which, of course, and then I'm a man who is here communicate here and once you have to say, they share on me. But education, Addition from primary, secondary, tertiary, vocational, recreation, youth, and sports. Arrangement, blueprints, and all ever paddle education from the lower cycle all to the second cycle, then school pomono. My arrangement is saying. Well, first of all, the new man after so many years since independence, yeah. there are still children who go to school under trees. Mm -hmm. If you let's do the simple things first. Again, let's look at what local products we have that will help us to build schools in rural communities yeah. where they are needed as quickly as possible. And use local materials that are durable. Uh, well, you know, uh, PA, you know, we are we believe that we import too much. Any mm -hmm. The currency it depreciated and disappeared. Yeah. Uh -huh. Educational infrastructure. We have schools, bro, the way they are designed, you know. They are still designed in the way the colonial people designed the schools for us. We haven't used our own architectural inputs to design schools and uh, school communities that really suit our environment. And there's a lot of work to do there. And our curriculum. Yes, yeah. there's a whole lot of work to do there. Yeah. Jesus. And there are many things. Let's, let's agree. Uh, STEM education is yes, important from the beginning. Yes. Science, technology, mathematics, mm -hmm. no problem. Yeah. But there are other aspects of education which have a greater role in personal development. Yeah. For example, currently, you know, the curriculum, the history, and come. Hmm. You what I hear, we don't need Ghana history. You can say, we have become phobia. No, I did it because you don't have a context. In the history, you know, later on, no pan wine as an elective. But the importance of history, you say, and no, a man, you of forming the identity as a person within the context of society. And he said, if you don't have a strong foundation as to who you are, no, be so be sorry, Ghanaian. Me, 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 who be something to be a Ghanaian, I can tell you what being a Ghanaian meant. Right now, no, if you ask a young person what being a Ghanaian means, I, I don't think they will be able to tell you. And this means that they are victim to any kind of information that comes in. They don't have a focus. And they are not applying themselves towards building a better country, being part of the process of building a better country. Hmm. See.
whole lot of problems yeah. in that area. How many years you spend in um, junior secondary, or how many years you spend in senior secondary? Reforms in Hawaii and bear 14 times, and we see that there. What's mm -hmm. the point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is our current producing graduates, secondary school for, university for, who are educated within our own context to serve our society? Hmm. We are 135th out of 180 countries mm. in terms of educational achievement and level. It doesn't matter what these parties tell us. Yeah. They have broken the education system. Mm. And if you, if you break the education system, you break the future of your country. Hmm. That is what has been going on. This is really scary. This is pretty, pretty scary. Now, Prof, Afi Yemra, uh, more policy also on oil and fuel, power generation, renewables, distribution. In 32 years, the Ghanaian had experienced all of this erratic power supply. But of course, we know that there are so many avenues to, as it were, secure renewable energies. Blueprints being an amode to her massa situation where it can be a thing of the past from Momo perspective and your blueprint. Well, sir, look at Obia with the Amin Kuma speech on energy mm -hmm. in uh, 1965. Uh, yeah, um, if we had just followed what he said, we wouldn't be where we are today. That is. So lovely wind now the engine and come was way back then. The dam was not supposed to be the only thing. The dam was supposed to be the fulcrum yeah. for developing other forms of energy. Mm -hmm. In the again, what do we need? In your mind, you hear, for example, to harness wind energy. And you need the windmill. To be a engineer able to make a building windmill and house here. Yeah. A power, you see the coastline need now as a source of energy. Yeah. If we had the menu with now, you say bore all the time. Mm. You find your you. Okay. First of all, when you come in, you make sure that all government institutions, schools, hospitals, etc., shift quickly to renewable energy as quickly as possible. You set targets and you set production lines for the inputs that you need. Again, all of these can be made in Ghana. Hmm. We don't need to import anything to get into renewable energy. This is and serious. then there is wood, which can be turned into energy. Plastic, yeah, 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 a crow is say a friend example Singapore. Says Singapore mm -hmm. Osha waste waste to an issue mm -hmm. to Singapore economy, is it not? Yes, but waste hmm. is energy. Organic waste yeah. is energy. Plastics no they can be turned into different products, but most importantly, um India and a few other places, Australia and only are they so which means you see plastics see and you maintain roads, actually potholes. Yeah. The trap bitumen, it reduces the cost of road building by about 30 percent. Yeah, it's just a question of do our leaders understand? Are they in the modern world? Do they know what's going on, or are they asleep as we see them at conferences? Mm. Hmm. Wow, wow, prof. These are not difficult things. Yeah, uh, we are looking forward to them. Uh, as we gear up towards the elections, all hands on deck. Uh, I mean, Ghanaians, I believe, are great for them. Some of you, in the diaspora, at least you can really form part of the decision making process to change the status quo. But before I let you off, we uh, are interim national chairman of the Progressive Alliance for Ghana. Great. Now, are you going to have uh, what's going to be called ballots? No, so I said, Mubi elected, uh, finishing, 
uh, a flag bearer for this party, including the running mates. What do you say? Yeah, they let him, um, they represent a flag bearer and a running mate because uh, our constitution, me as uh, chairman, I'm the party leader. Mm, okay. But the political leader will be chosen by the delegates. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I see. And the Sabri said, Obi, you share party, it's like when you more headquarters, baby, I'm one of the other day. Uh, him for a more. To say, I know, um, your headquarters were your temporary headquarters were Kaneshi. Okay, okay, yeah, oh, I see. Kaneshi, which particular location? Well, I would domain. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Prof. Very near Mother's Inn. Oh, okay, in the oh, okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. That, I mean, that's the easiest way to describe Ghana. And say, well, we need to have. Uh, Prof, then I would be just Ghana for, you know, at, at the political, you know, class. You know, then I would be just Ghana for any lower middle class, say, you're looking forward to more coming as a rescue mission or otherwise. How? Message being to Ghanaians. Well, the main message I'm making is that I'm going to force your assistance. Yeah. Now, evaluate it. For 32 years, you know, we'll go to a massage two parties. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll say, honestly, we have a system, a point of consequence, we are a point of no matter who's from school, a school, a brown bread. We'll have a new man for 32 years. Now, we'll say, we decided to say, we'll make two, I'm a new party, a whole new direction for that. And I said they want to continue to waste their votes on these two failures. Because they are failures. Hmm. Good. Prof, you better watch it. You be say, you know, as the, the, the political way, you know, uh, latent heat and you know, intensifying, definitely we'll get back to you now. Of course, we're also My making. We'll be back. Exactly. We're making all efforts that we even get you in the studio in the coming, you know, near the waiting community. You better watch it, Papa said. When you bring your team come on, and then we'll also be following uh, the activities of uh, Progressive Alliance for Ghana. You may follow more activities, and then we also report accordingly to Ghanaians. Thank you very much tonight. Thank you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Great one, great one, great one. Professor Thaddeus Uzenani and any Edim Komono, on an oil interim chairman, Emma Patwe, a new kid on the political block, a Progressive Alliance for Ghana, Womo Abeka. Uh, ballots no one and as one be called ballots no so by all means now one must also be rescue Ghana. Ocean Yoma, Koma and Niniti, one more policies and programs, Nemni Adia. Find brains, guys who have all that it takes to, you know, help salvage this country from all these political economic shackles. Yet, yeah, Mamma Kwama, Mamma, yeah.